probably like an optimal route to go on these maps where you you can quickly go from shrine, sun spear shrine to sun spear sh sun spear shrine <laughs> say that five times fast sun spear shrine now you just sound like sean connery sun 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 spear sun spear shrine sun spear shrine okay i'm done <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of Guild Wars we'll playthrough in Nightfall. Uh, still on our dervish here, trying to get up to first spear. Uh, where is it? Need to get first spear in order to complete this primary quest, or we need to get level twelve. And we're only right now at level seven, almost level seven. We got a little ways to go. Today's episode, we're going to be doing some of these quests. We're going to be doing some exploring. We're going to be messing around and learning some of these uh, dervish skills. So actually, what I want to do... Um, oh, there's a skill trainer in the newest Champions Dawn, I think. Is that where I was? Yeah, there's a skill trainer here, I believe. And I'm wrong. Dead wrong. Why did I think there was... Here, here's a skill trainer. There we are, Roman. Uh, I'm assuming he has the same skills as the guy in Kamadan, but maybe not. So let's check that out. I've got some gold to spend. The, gold, the skills early on that you purchase are always cheap. Um, 60 gold per skill. And they go up. Every skill you buy it gets a little more expensive. So what I want to do is I'm taking some advice from the chat. I am I'm getting rid of earth prayers. So I'm going to go scythe, mysticism, and wilderness survival actually. Because I want this skill for my heal. We're going to use storm chaser and troll ungwint. Ungwint. Yeah, plus five energy. Whoa, 30, was it always 13 seconds? That's a crazy skill. Cannot be disabled. 13 seconds. That's a long time, man. All right. Uh, also, we're a little bit low on enchantments. So I want to get rid of Crippling Sweep. I hate it. I hate Crippling Sweep. Might be too strong of a word. Uh, but I am going to use some, get check out some of these mysticism enchantments. This is pretty cool. All nearby foes take 10 holy damage for 9 seconds. You have minus 1 energy generation. But you gain 1 energy every time you hit a foe. So it basically makes your attacks like a zealous. And then if it gets ended quickly, you get some energy back. You get 2 energy back. I like that one. This is not a strike. This is a touch. Interesting. Deals 25 damage to target foe. I I don't understand that skill. You lose one one dervish enchantment, and if an enchantment is removed, target foe loses one enchant. Oh, it's a disenchant spell. That's actually really good. We don't really need it that much right now. This is a cool one. So we got rid of vital boon as our healing spell, but this could serve as a little bit of a healing spell a healing uh buff and it synergizes really well with chilling victory actually because we get that max health gives us some defense and we do extra damage with chilling victory if we have more health in them i'm gonna pick that up for fun that one's not bad heart of fury that's a good one to get let's get that one um go and let's get one more enchantment or one more attacking skill i feel like we're we're spamming pious assault the pious assault and chilling victory might be the only attacking skills that we need let's get one more enchantment um all the lists that we get mystic sweep what is that that's a pretty good one too actually mystic vigor Oh, it's a healing spell. 
Every time you gain X every time you hit, you gain five health for each enchantment. That's cool. Not gonna use it. Might go with this one. Might go with this one. I like that one. Zealous renewal. I need some gold though. I have no gold. So I'm not using it right now. Let's try this build. Zealous renewal, that might be the energy gain that we need. Alright, so we have this quest. Let's do some of the quests. 500 experience. Not gonna do that one. I'm gonna abandon that one. That's a that's a lot of experience, but no sun spear points. Let's do this one. No. Oh yeah, we can do this one. This is just talking to someone of champions not. Talk to this dude. Boom. Completed. Oh, not yet. We'll do this one. We need to collect more, so we'll do this one. And then we need to go back to Plains of Jaren, I guess. Alright, let's pick up Dunkoro. Um, I'm going to get rid of Healing Touch. And go with... Uh, bigger Spirit. That might be nice because we have two attackers. Me and Koss. And... It's a pretty good one, but... I don't know if they I don't know if there's many conditions going on. Let's go with Signet Devotions, good. Yeah, that might be that might be all we use for right now. What's this guy want? Okay, we got a new quest. All right, these will be good. Oh, and another quest over here. I'm like, we end up getting more quests than we do time to complete them. There's no sun spear. But the experience is not bad. Honestly, I don't really... Uh, I'll pick it up. I'll just do it all. We'll bring... We don't need the monk. Let's bring... Um... Oh, we get the Dervish. Let's bring Earth. Or Domination. Let's bring on Domination. Get that Mesmer support. Alright. Let's finish this quest up. The Scholarly Affairs. Ajwa. A lot of quests where people follow you around, huh? One's far away. Hmm. Oops. This guy comes with us. I don't think they. I don't think these guys do any damage, do they? Kind of nice to have them. Maybe they do some auto attacks or something. And don't forget to talk to. I almost forgot to talk to the Sun Spear Scout. Never forget this. Scale. All right, I guess we'll do this one first. Going the wrong way. This is the right way. Looks like there's a body up here. You see that grayed out spot on the map? It's a harpy. This is the one that has your ring. Oh, it was a poisonous pie that killed the harpy. That's funny. Well, hurry up and get your ring. Okay. Stash it before finishing my pie. We should search the harpy nest nearby. Okay. Nearby? That's the nearby harpy nest? It's all the way over there.
Oh, Heart of Fury is also a stance. I just realized I got two stances. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this build suddenly. Here's the harpy nest. Music kicked in. I actually don't want to get rid of Intimidating Aura. aura. I want to keep that on because that health bonus is pretty good. And then it gives me some defense. Because it, it damage reduction, rather. <laughs> Looks like we bit off a bit more than we can chew. Stay alive. Yeah, we over aggro. Run, 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 run. I don't have any... I don't have any reses. Well, that was a bad start. Probably because all the enemies are level 10. Yeah, we we're fighting harpies and ibogas at the same time. Do you have a resurrection skill? He does not. All right, you might need to just wipe. We can do some damage at least. Thin the crowd. Ooh, he's got some healing. Oh, level seven. Here we go. Let's get. Let's buff our mysticism. Actually, of course, that's not really efficient use. Now I have four unusable points. Let's precast troll unglint. Let's take these guys out before they get a chance. Wow, we're gonna die here. Let's take out one of them at least. Just me. Yeah, these guys don't help at all. Okay. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. I'm not sure what skills Odura is using. Like, Domination Me Henchman should at least be, or Mesmer should be using Empathy. But I didn't really notice it. They were doing tons of damage. I think we rushed into these quests a little bit too fast. We should be doing Planes of Jaren quests. A little tip is be careful of the patrols. Just because there's no enemy around at that moment doesn't mean there's not going to be enemies coming. Patrolling around. There we go. Now we're talking. Could be the last one. My gosh. Blocking me. Dozen should be perfect. Let's hand head over to the excavations now. Yeah. So we completed that. Well, we have to escort them. Okay. I need to keep that in mind. Someone healing? 
I guess the... I guess these, um... Oh, the hatchling is a monk. Okay. The scree hatchlings are monks. Ooh, they drop feathers. Those are pretty valuable. If I can get 10 of them, I can afford to purchase the skills that I need. Costs with the level up. Let's go ahead and get his strengths and tactics. Of course. Of course, it's not in that one. So many of them. Interesting, the Scree hatchling, hatchling is a monk, but it tends to be a frontline. Like a frontline monk. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about intimidating aura actually. Because if you accidentally disenchant it, which is very highly likely, like I just did, um, you actually cause a damage spike on yourself. Because you lose that, you lose that, uh, enchanted health bonus. So you have to be, you have to keep a really close eye on which enchantments are at the top of the stack. So I need to always rem I need to cast Intimidating Aura first. And then, Heart of Holy Flame. I mean, the speed of being able to keep... You, Heart of Holy Flame allows me to keep burning condition up almost, almost 100% uptime for burning. Especially with Heart of Fury, putting these together. experience get into battle quickly we need to attack that guy because the heart of holy flame is a flash enchantment it's very fast he died right as I used my healing victory. Now we're doing some damage. Oh, I didn't check that one. You've searched four to five minutes. This is the last one. Finally. Pretty good increase. We're not getting many Sun Spear points because we're not fighting Scales. We need to fight Scale. So there's probably like an optimal route to go on these maps where you you can quickly go from shrine, Sun Spear Shrine to Sun Spear, sh sun spear Shrine. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Sun Spear Shrine. Now you just sound like Sean Connery. Sun, 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 sh sun Spear, Sun Spear Shrine, Sun Spear Shrine. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's talk to this guy. But yeah, I guess the route would be to, st to go here and immediately hug this wall. Then you can get three of the sun spear shrine bounties and then you can do it that way you can make sure you're getting optimal sun spear points 
Wow, the casting time for Troll Ungoin is three seconds, though. That's a pretty big disadvantage. I don't think I need to pick any more of these up, do I? I guess they just continuously drop them. Okay, now we get... Yeah, we got three points from those guys. So now we get points for plants and points for scale. I like that. I like that three less energy from or damage from foes that are lower health than me. So Dervish would really want a lot of health. Isn't there there's a ranger maybe that would be an interesting skill to get. There's a ranger spirit called Symbiosis and it gives you health per enchantment that's on you. That would be really good synergy for a Dervish, I think. Just making sure you always have intimidating aura active and giving you that damage resistance. I wonder how much that scales up. Like what's the max health health? Uh, or damage resistance you can get from it. Pretty good. Pretty good damage. Just spamming these two skills over and over is good. I eventually need to go up there. There's going to be something up in that area. Finally, we get the Scree blessing. I'm going to escort this scholar to this base. We've got a, whole, a total of 750 experience queued up for these quests. Would have been nice if I... So, against these Jac Jacaranda... Yeah, I get... Look how much energy I'm getting. Because they're attacking me. With their lightning strikes. So, before I go into battle with the Jacaranda, I need to... I need to keep... Put Storm Shaver up. Storm... <laughs> Why can't I say S words today? Storm Shaver. Oh, I forget about adrenaline. Warriors and dervish that use adrenaline generally want to keep going from battle to battle. Otherwise, they lose that momentum. It's nice going into a battle with full adrenaline stacks. I don't have any bug on spear. Maybe this guy has it. Is there a max number of bounties you can have? I feel like three is the max, but maybe... Maybe there's more. Nice. Okay, we got all of them. We're not leaving yet. I want to escort this guy first. Come on, Slowpoke. Let's go to the qu quarry, and what do we need to do? Speak to Miner Tanabanza. Tell him you will stand guard while he continues mining. Sounds fun. Let's attack these guys. That's interesting. When I attack that guy, it did damage to enemies that were behind me, it looks like. It's really hard to tell the attack radius or the attack range of the scythe. I imagine it's like a cone. It would be like a cone in front of the player like this. But I think it just 
automatically attacks enemies that are close to your target. It's not really a clear indicator for that. We have all the bounties available in this area. We just want to fight everyone now. I'm liking Storm Chaser. Storm Chaser was a good pickup. Level 12, look at that. That's some good ex good XP. And level 8 guy gives you 60 experience. So even though we're in an area that's a little bit high level for us, we're able to hold our own and benefit from this experience uh, boost. How close are we? Still need another eight, a 79 point, Sunspear points. I think after we do this quest and turn them all in, should be pretty close to 300. our way down here's the entrance of the quarry is it quarry or quarry how do you say it i say quarry do you say quarry 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 laurel <laughs> yanny what do you hear There's another scout, but I think if we talk to the scout, it won't have anything. Unless it's a Corsair. No. The only one the only bounty we're missing is Corsair bounty. Quarry quandary. Quarry cron quarry say that five times fast. Quarry quandary. Quarry qu quarry quant that's it. That one's impossible. If you can do it, congratulations. Quarry quandary, quarry quandary, quarry quandary. How many times was that? Is that only three times? Quarry quandary, quarry quandary, quarry quandary, quarry quandary, quandary, quandary. Nope. Impossible. Try it. Try it at home. Comment down below if you're successful. I'll we'll do it on the honor system. I'll give you a thumbs up if you were successful. What did I tell you? Every time I try to, to mine the stone, those things attack. I'm not going to keep putting my life on the line for some stones. You better get to work. Oh, completed. All right. What's next? Did we do all the quests? Scholarly. Yeah, I think we did everything. Oh, what's this one? Oh, we gotta get up. We gotta go over there. There's not really point of fighting these guys because we don't have Corsair bounty. Dang it. Let's exit the quarry out of here. Eleven seconds uptime is not bad.
Once I'm in battle, though, and I'm not taking elemental damage, that's when I can switch to Heart of Fury. So even though they cancel each other out, their, e their usage is f at two separate times. This is when I'm in battle attacking. This is for defense and running away or running to a battle. So I, not too bad having both, I don't think. That's some serious damage. Like obviously the assassin probably does more damage. Um, single target. But if you factor in all that AOE damage I was doing. Surfish is really strong. Let's see if I got anything this person wants. Lonian shoes. You're already good on shoes, bro. Let's talk. Let's turn in this quest here and then we'll go up north. I'm, I'm curious about what that area is. I think this is not a. I think this is an explorable area. I don't think it's an outpost. That'd be a little too many outposts. Right? That's a big difference between Alona so far and. Or Nightfall and the other missions is there seems to be. A, there seems to be too many outposts. Interesting. Zelon Reach. Right, I think Zelon Reach is where we went to get Sasuke. 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 In my Mesmer playthrough. That's an explorable area. And it looks like we can go we can go up. This is an extra this is a different exit to Zelon Reach, so it's not really any point of them putting that there. Hey, why'd you stop running? I think we'll at least hit level 8 and we'll get pretty close to second or first spear. Good, attack me. And even though we're not really using Troll Unguent much yet, because we're able to dispatch them fast enough. I think it will come in handy later on. Look at that damage. Boom. Wow. And you get, it looks like you get adrenaline for each enemy you attack. So I was doing Chilling Victory on all three of them. After two hits on them, it, it was back up. So if you can spam Chilling Victory like that, that's crazy damage. Sube. You greedy, greedy man. Where are you running to? Yeah, I don't know why they gave Corsairs this net. I feel like Paragons should have a net spell too. It fits the class. It's like those gladiators that have like the trident and net. You know that combo what I'm talking about? From uh, Spartacus. They missed an opportunity. As far as I know, Paragon does not have a net skill. They need an immobili immobilization skill. Cover the lotion. Where's the crate? There it is. Okay. So we can go back to Commandant. Let's go to Joe Kenner and submit these. Submit these rewards or accept these rewards. Isn't there one over here? Here we go. Midauha. Mid one Ori Quandry that's not here identity theft six here man okay everything's back in Amadon I guess oh that's in champions though 
We're 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 warping around. I'm glad they don't have the cost per teleport. That would not be very acceptable in this game. Fast travel is a, is a necess is a necessity. The Mandragore Queen. Is there anything else? This one. Oops. Close to level eight. Do do hint or heroes rather? Do they get experience for me turning in quests? Probably not, right? We get an identification kit from that. Sweet. We got the whole she shebang. And a scythe upgrade. A briar blade. That looks cool. That's a cool. That's a cool sword. Don't need it. Don't want it. Get out of here. And we got level eight. Let's go. Okay, where are we at? We're at level eight. We are forty points away from first pier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play. I'm gonna grind a little bit off recording and um come back whenever we got that first spear points so see you in a little bit all right and we're back we uh i did that the grinding of the quest of the uh area here in cliffs of dojok got my 300 hit the first spear rank and i also got a drop of this uh Termite leg. So we're going to get a belt pouch. No, not this one. We're going to get a belt pouch from Nena. We'll expand our inventory a little bit. And we should be able to do the first or the next mission. Finally. I already expressed my hatred for these. These like artificial speed bumps that they impose on you. Like that the level and the rent the faction and stuff i'm just i'm not i'm not really a fan of it honestly i just feel like obviously i don't i don't think anyone should just or no if you want to rush through it you can rush through it it's not my style but i just feel like having this artificial speed bump that forces players not to rush through is it, it doesn't really make sense why they would impose that uh <laughs> I ranted about it last episode, so I don't really need to talk about it anymore in this episode. But anyway, we hit level 8. Almost level 9. Dang. And we got the plus 15 attributes that we can add. So once we hit level 20, we are a fully fledged, full, fully powered character. Because we already did both 15 attribute quests. It's much easier to get the 15 attribute quests in Nightfall than it is for Prophecies. So that's a good point. Um, about Nightfall for sure. Not quite as easy as in Factions. In Factions, I feel like we would be level 20 by now if we started with a level 1 character in Factions. But still, uh, what do we do next? Honorable General. Need to talk to... Go to Zell on Reach. Let's go do that. I'll start from Jokener Diggings though. I think we're getting closer to the increased party size. I think there's one more mission that we need to do at four party size. And then I'll be able to get the eight party uh, max. It'll be fun. Oscar Scout. I'll make sure you talk to them. Oh, actually, it's closer to the Great Hall, isn't it? That's okay. I'll go this way. Go this north route over through the marsh here. Jungle swamp. This is really cool level design here. I think it I think it really they did a good job making this look like a swamp. Kinda wish there were some alleg alligator uh alligator pets that you could tame here. 
I find it kind of weird that there's zero pets. Fewer ranger hoping to get a pet animal companion. Oh, that's not true. There's some flamingos, I think, in the uh, churnier, churnier fields. I forgot about those. Yeah, you can get pet flamingo in this game. Pretty awesome. We got insect hunt. I suppose I should keep making sure my sun spear points are high because there might be another speed bump coming up. Whoop, who are we? Mandragores. Oh, we over aggroed a bit. Watch these numbers. Are you watching? That's one annoying thing is if you accidentally try to target an enemy that is being body blocked by another enemy, your character will just stay there. Like that just happened. I was I kept smashing the space bar and I wasn't attacking anything because there was an enemy in between the enemy that I just targeted. Not cool. Oh, there's a flamingo. If only I brought charm animal. Flamingo is pretty cool looking animal skin. I don't know how it's supposed to damage enemies, but they did it. They made it. They made a skin. That's cool. Swamp flower. Whoa. What's with all these guys? There's a boss here, I think. Be Peppa the hard headed. Do we fight? I think we can beat him. Yeah, we're level eight, nine. They're just all hanging out with the scale here. Check out this damage. You ready? You ready? Oh, yeah. Look at that damage. Look at those numbers. Beautiful. Let's take out Beba. What's up, Beba? Get some heal. Donkoro. Low on energy. Okay, man. I got Troll Unguent. Let's, let's reposition. There we go. Look at that damage. What's the Earth Henchman doing? He's using Stone Daggers, Ebon Hawk. Putting weakness on them. He puts bleeding and weakness and does Earth damage. It's not bad. It'd be nice if he had more... Um, AoE spells. As far as I could tell, he wasn't really using much. Those Iron Tooth Drake, I think, drop the f an item that you can use to make a consumable, if I remember correctly. Need to go over this island a little bit, and we'll go over there. What's the point of these swamp flowers? Can't pick them up. This way no I don't want to go that way I want to keep going around actually because I think that goes down I want to go around here doing some exploring good Got our gold back up. We had 15 gold a second ago. Now we we're almost at a plat at one platinum already. Ooh, Sunspear Scout. Here we go. Get that EXP boost. Let's just keep going around. This area is way larger than I thought. It's massive. Let's 
go. So many scale. We just now got the scale hunt, so at least now we'll be getting some good experience. 16 experience. Look at that. <laughs> 32. That's not bad. 32 experience is not bad. We're going to hit level 9 very soon. So the progression speed in Nightfall is probably, I would say, exactly halfway between the progression speed of fa factions and prophecies. I still, I, w I would still be very curious. I've mentioned it before. I'm still very curious of why exactly they felt the need to rush through factions so much. Like, why did they make... Why did they make factions so short and so rushed to get to level 20? I can, I mean, I can, I'm sure there's a lot of theories that are probably, any theory you can come up with is probably partially correct, but I would like to hear it from the devs exactly what was the main motivation for making prophecies and nightfall like really long and detailed and in depth with all the areas and and uh missions and why factions was just like nah cut it in half <laughs> like it's really weird but yeah if you, whatever theory you can come up with is probably it probably has some merit you know and probably the most obvious the obvious theory is it comes down to money Like maybe they maybe when they made factions they had no intention of doing an expansion but they were like forced to put something out so they just whipped one together i just like factions is my favorite and i feel like it could have been even better had they had they spent more time on it Am I going the right way? Yeah, there should be a path here somewhere. My hero should be hitting level 9 soon. I think uh, generally just keeping up with the highest level henchmen in the area is probably a good rate of progression to keep in mind. Like if you, even in prophecies, if you found yourself uh, under leveled, or a uh, lower level than the henchman, you're probably going too fast. Probably going too fast through the, the campaign. There we go, Dunkoro. Uh, level 9. So I would say we're about right on track with the pace that is recommended. Oh, I thought that said hot. <laughs> Never mind. His name is Hatuk, not Haktua, but Hatuk. Get Firefly. I'll pick it up. I'm probably not going to do that quest though. Right over there though. I mean, there's no, there's no point for them offering a quest that doesn't give Sun Spirit points. That's the main objective in this area is getting Sun Spirit points as fast as possible. Why make a quest that doesn't give it? Tell me why. Why did they? No, I'm just joking. There we go. General Morgan. Fresh Osha. Definitely would have been faster had we gone from Sunspear Great Hall. So for this mission, Honorable General, don't go from Jokunur Diggings, even though Zelon Reach is right there. Go through Plains of Jaren. And then it's right there. Of course, we do get the level 9 henchmen, so maybe... Yeah, it was all planned. That's why I did this. Lissa teaches us that the glory of leadership is found in honor and duty. A high sun spirit, your superiors could not stop talking about your valor defending uh, the Chabek against blah blah blah. I've heard you're a highly trained sun spirit leader. Look forward to watching you trade blows with my finest. Rest assured you will be compensated for your time and trouble when you are ready to begin. Oh, we need to fight. Okay. 
little PvP. I'm pretty sure General Morgan ends up being bad, doesn't he? I mean, he was just talking to Varish Asha, and we learned in the Mesmer, in my Mesmer playthrough, that Varish Asha is a bad, bad person. Not good. So we're just not there yet. I kind of skipped over some of that dialogue, didn't I? Apologies. Basically, Varish Asha is an extremely reputable and honored general in the Cornyn military, and so is General Morgan. What a demonstration. Cormier has trained you well. Indeed, my men would do well to take the lessons with you taught to them to you taught them to heart. Okay, I would hate to cross you on the battlefield of battle. Foreshadowing. Alright, what do we do now? Go back. Oh, is this the Astralarium? Is this an outpost? I think this is an outpost. Would you look at that? This is an outpost. Very cool. I forgot about this place, obviously. We're going to turn this in. And with that, we get Maloney next. So we're going to stop this episode here. Let's. Yeah. Oh, I can get... Oh, I need one more. Health regeneration bonus. Oh, I need more scale fin. What am I at? One. <laughs> hopefully, I get, hopefully I get a drop soon. All right, so with that, we uh, hit level nine. What did we gain? Like four levels this episode? We got first spear. We are about to pick up our third hero, Milani. And that will set us up for the mission. I was hoping to do the mission this episode, but this mission, this episode's going a little bit long. So stay tuned for the next episode of Nightfall. Peace.